Okay, the first thing we need to do is once this mount has been drying and it's completely dried, you want to definitely check the ears for uh, wet clay. You want to make sure that your clay around your eyes are, are dry, everything's solid on it. First thing you want to do is actually groom the mount out a little bit, uh, clean any residue or hide paste that it may have came through anywhere, brush it out real good, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll epoxy the eyes first, then we'll do the nostrils, and then we'll do the ears. So what we're going to do first is we're going to groom the piece. We want to make sure that everything is cleaned off, brush up the nose pad real well, get any loose residue off. So we use a small brass brush, it's a soft bristled brass brush. You want to make sure that you scrub the inside of the ears, pull this hair back so you can get into the ear skin. Work your way down the hide this way. What I do on the major portion of the neck is use a soft bristled hairbrush. Groom this out real well. Okay, now that we've puttied both eyes, let's grab our reference material and check and see if we're close to what, what we need. The left eye of this deer, and there's my reference photo that I used for the shape. You can see the gap from the filler. If you can see the white around the edge of the eye, that is the epoxy that I applied to that. So now that we know that our eyes are good, let's go to our nose. And when we mounted this deer, we used this reference cast. And let's double check and make sure that when this deer did dry, that we didn't have much shrinkage in the nose. So you see my, as it drops, as it falls into the nostril opening, we've got that shape there. We've got as it drops in. We've got our septimal roll right there. And you want to base coat everything that you're going to paint. And when you're base coating, base coat actually out into the hair, out into the hair lines around. Make sure you cover everything and the transition into the hair itself. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start on the nose and base coat the nose first. The reason I use water-based paint when I do mammals is that when your paint is completely dry, you can actually just take a towel, a terry cloth towel, and wipe the hair clean. You want to make sure you have your nose pad base coated real well so, you, so it allows you to pick up the detail from the nose pad itself into the textured pads on the nose itself. In Dusty Peak, what we will do is we'll actually pigment over the front corner of the eyes and around the nostril opening and transition it into the inner nostril lightly a bit on the lip and just a scant amount inside the ear itself as a fog. You're just going to actually gently fog the front corners of the eye with this color. Once you get that, go into your nostril. Fog over the natural flesh. And your lower lip, slightly on the upper lip. Then go to your ears. You don't want to hit, hit your ears real hard with this paint. Just gently fog it. Changes that flow of that color. So that once you clean the hair off, it'll look real natural against the leather. And on a dark brown, we're going to fog our nose pad, our lower lip, changing the color slightly. We're going to go around our eye opening, onto our eyelids itself, around the tear ducts. We're going to take the dark brown into the hairline deep. Then we're going to go around the ears itself. Then on the ridge of the ears, we're going to slightly tint those ridges of the ears and slightly fog the inner ear as it comes down to the apex right here. Starting out into the hairline, fog into the hair and around it. Fog around the hairline, all the way around the tear duct area, and around the eye opening. And graduate as you get closer to the eye, work the upper lid underneath the lashes. Gradually working your way into the glass. Now we're going to go to our nose. Starting with your nose, start in the pattern here, 
where the dark hair is, and work your way down into the nose pad. Covering those, those dry leather looking cracks in the nose so that pattern and that, that leathery look is gone. Work your way around the, the wings of the nose. Try not to shoot paint into the nostril quite yet. Work the hairline. Make sure you get the underside of the wings there where all the hair is. Underneath the hair, it's a dark pigment in the skin. Making sure you get that covered well. Now that both nostril openings are complete and our nose pad is done, we're going to work our way down our upper lip there. Remember the lighter color, the, the dusty pink of the natural flesh that we painted on there. The upper palette, or the upper lip there, has a sh slight change in color as it drops into the, the mouth. So we're going to actually try to leave a little bit of that pink showing through, just slightly. And also at that lower lip, just fog that brown over there. As you can see, the color doesn't turn a brown. It's just slightly covered, and that pigment from that pink comes through. Now that you've got your nose, go to your ears, and what we're going to do is paint the perimeter of our ear dark brown. Then we're going to fog in our, our ridges. So you're actually going to paint the whole the whole perimeter of the ear. Now take your paint, drop down your quantity of paint coming through your airbrush, and gently fog the ear itself, toning down the dusty pink and natural flesh that you've painted in prior. Okay, now that our paint is dry, take a clean white terry cloth towel and actually just rub the paint off the hair. It'll come right off the hair, but not off the leather. Fog the eye a little bit, get those eyelashes cleaned off. Try not to bend your eyelashes too much and distort them. Take as much off with your towel as you can. And what I've got is a, is a paintbrush that I've clipped the bristles off so they're a little stiff. Work your way around the flesh area that you've painted and clean off the excess off those hairs. You can take your finger and grab those eyelashes and gently pull and you'll remove any of the paint that's on there that you can't get off with your brush. Now to the muzzle area. Take your towel and go around the lip line removing the paint from the hair. Just do it nice, soft and gentle. It comes off real easy. Just work it in a circular motion and the paint will come right off the hair. Once you've got the exterior done, take your paintbrush, work around the nose opening, down into the inner nostril, gently just removing the hair the paint from the hair, around the top of the nose pad, making sure those hair, hairs are clean, around the bottom lip, work your way over to the other side. A lot of times you can fog, fog the nose with your breath and it will moisten that hair up enough with the paint on it so you can actually clean off those hairs real well. Now that we've got our nose, we're going to go to our ears. And with our ears, all you're going to need to do is take the towel in your hand and just start rubbing the, rubbing the hair. Pull the hair in the direction as it flows coming off the ear. So we'll remove the paint. It's often nice to set your hand behind the ear to support it. Work, work inside the ear on the ridges. You've got hair that grows on those ridges that we darkened up with dark brown paint. Now 
Make sure you remove all the paint from the hair. 